Hello, hello, hello. This is Attorney Mike Gravelin coming to you from Chicago, as usual. And we've got a live one. We've got a live one out in Washington. Let's go check it out, shall we? Can you hear me? I can. Can you activate your camera? Yes, just give me a second. I want to give a big shout out to Rebel Chaser, who told me about this situation after I stole her prior video on this guy. Where is it here? I'm looking through our chat. It was called Sovereign Citizen in Washington. Hey there. So are you, uh, is it Muhammad Idris? The trustee. I'm the trustee. The trustee of the person is here, and all the beneficiaries have been already named. Okay, so I'm looking for Muhammad Idris. If you're not him, you're free to go. We'll issue a warrant for him. I am the trustee of the person. So, okay, I'm, I'm not sure what that means. You're going to have to explain that to me. I mean, I know what a trustee is. You want know, to have a trustee over as a person. That's someone who governs their affairs if they're not able to manage their own. Um, this generally, guy people aren't trustees for themselves. And, um, and so that's why, you know, and if you're, I'm not sure exactly. I'm not sure exactly what that means, and you're going to have to explain that to me. What I mean, like by I say, the if you're, I mean, I'm sorry. I have to get my. What I'm saying is, the trustee of the person is here, and all the beneficiaries have already been named, and Who? it's on a trust, and that trust is private. <laughs> okay. Do you have a name? Because you are claiming that you are the trustee or the uh, prosecutor is claiming to be the trustee and the investors. I saw that. I, I'm not. To be the beneficiaries. Okay. So, okay, I'm going to stop you there for a well, second because I'm not I, claiming I, that. No, you can't finish. When I when you say you are claiming to be something that I'm not doing, no, I'm not going to say that because that's not true. I'm not claiming to be anything other than the judge in Thurston County District Court who's on this calendar. So I'm not the trustee of anybody. Well, you're here to um, to my, come after my personal trust, correct? No, no. Why would you think that? I object being a trustor. <laughs> okay. Well, you're not one. I'm just trying to find out who you are. Oh shit! <laughs> I can't get any clearer when I said <laughs> I, the trustee of the person is here. You can get a lot clearer. Is the person here? So you're not going to answer that. The trustee of the person is here. Okay. And and the beneficiaries have already been named. Is on um, a trust is on a trust and is private and my trust is private. Okay. What's the state's position on where okay. this case is headed? And then I can come back and speak with Your Honor. If who I, ass the, I assume the trustee of the person is the person named as Muhammad Idris. And so, um, but let me hear from uh, you what the state's position, where we, I mean, these cases look like there's a fraction of failure to control a traffic device. There's a special fuel trip permit. And then uh, there's a failure to comply charge. Yes. So sure. what's the state's position and where we're going from here? If Muhammad Idris is not present, the state would ask for a warrant. Muhammad Idris is, is, is he's, I'm going, going to consider him present based on his verbiage. I know he's operating under a lot of false premises, but that's, that's kind of on him. So right. what I mean, what is the state where we're at here? If the state wants to go to trial on this case, we'll set it for trial. And then the okay. state would ask the court to set that date. Okay. In speedy trial. The state also would like to clarify whether Muhammad Idris is intending to go pro se or if he will have counsel at trial. He uh, looks like he was. Okay. So I'm going to speak here for just a minute and I'm going to kind of tell you, tell you where we are with this. And, um, and then we'll go from there. So, you know, you said a lot of things already that just simply are not correct. 
And um, here's where you're at right now, all right? And so you've been charged. There's three things at issue here. There's um, uh, two statutes that are alleged to have been violated, violation of a special fuel trip permit, violation of a vehicle operator um, refusing to comply with an officer. And those are both, I think, simple misdemeanors, which carry with them maximum penalties of 90 days in jail and a $1,000 fine. Pleas of not guilty will be have been entered, and then uh, these cases, these they're both criminal cases, and the what happens is they either resolve through some sort of plea or some sort of agreement, or they proceed to a jury trial. And now, if you goes to a, since they are criminal cases, it's headed to a jury trial. You're entitled to be represented by an attorney. Look like a previous judge um, had already ruled that or found that you are gonna, are you gonna represent as the person, as the trustee of the person of Muhammad Idris um, gonna be present to contest the criminal charges against the name Muhammad Idris? Are, well, you gonna re are you gonna do that yourself or do you wanna have an attorney appointed to represent, I can screen you for court appointed counsel or you can hire an attorney to represent yourself. Do I have a standing to speak? Yes. Okay, I object to what the prosecutor has said. <laughs> okay. And, and I'm standing on, I am. Like You're the, standing on what? The trustee of the person is here. And the beneficiaries have already been named. Yeah, he already gave you a break on this, jackass. Okay. It's not I a don't... trust and it's private. Okay. Um... And I object to the prosecutor saying that representing myself, I object to that. And now he's regretting it. He probably should have just issued a warrant for him, drug him in. He was told to come down here live and he didn't do it. I object to being the trustor. And I'm not here to give out gifts, <laughs> reducing the public law or the. Uh, we thought you were Santa Claus, honestly. But thanks for clearing that up. The public. And the public debt. I, because I'm I'm brought yeah. in as a a trustor to give out gifts, and turn around, and what the court is doing is coming after me, for the commercial promise. <laughs> so, for Thank that you, reason, Mortimer. I am the trustee. I, I'm, I'm standing in that position. <laughs> All right. Very nice. Um, and I'm not here to give out any gifts. Okay. I, yeah. No right. one's here for any gifts. <laughs> this judge is funny. He is low key hilarious. Well, I object to that. <laughs> uh, the trustee of the person is here, and all the beneficiaries, or oh, the beneficiaries, have already been named. Um, all right. And I'm, not, and I'm not talking about the beneficiaries, which is the investors. I don't. I have no idea what you're talking about. When you talk about the beneficiaries, I don't. I don't have a clue as to what you're talking about. So I don't. I don't. I don't even know what that means. I'm trying to figure out, you know, where we're going to go from here. And um, and I I have an idea, but um, in a minute I'm going to. You know, I'm going to take up some of these. I'm going to take some of these other cases, and then uh, um, I'll come. I'll come back to you. But um, oh, I'm good. the only witness on the case. Correct? No, no, no. You're, you're not. Defending. That's not correct. No. Issue one for failure here. to appear or contempt. Either one. Drag him down. And stop this BS. Although I do enjoy it, <laughs> uh, Mr. Newcomb. I'm going to. You can. Tr you can mute up there, uh, Mr. Idris. Mute up, um, and then um, I'll come back to you here in just a minute. And you can. You can go off camera, but don't. Don't leave the Zoom call just yet, because this is going to take some time. I'm going to take care of some of these other cases first. Mr. Newcomb, is your case ready? Ooh, into the penalty box. I don't hear him. And then Ms. Lazarek. Thank you, Iris. Your Honor, um, we'll be doing a change of plea today, but I'm just waiting for my client to log on. 
All right. George. All right. So uh, you can come back on the um, <laughs> you can come off the Zoom call there. Uh, Mr. Edwards, you can come back off, okay. off of mute. You can come back onto the Zoom call. He never left. <laughs> so um, here's where we're at here. And I started talking about we're nowhere. Um, and again, I don't at this time, I don't want to hear anything about the trustee and the named or unnamed beneficiaries. My only question is, um, do you want to have an attorney appointed to uh, be involved and help you with this case? I mean, that's a yes or no question. The trustee of the person is here. And the beneficiaries have been ready, uh, already named. And um, I'm asking for the courts to dismiss this case because okay. I put myself in the position of a trustee. Okay. The the request to dismiss the case will be denied. I'm telling you that. And I'm going to ask my question again. Is this, do you want an attorney appointed to represent you or are you going to go it alone? How can somebody represent me when I'm the trustee? Okay. And the beneficiaries have already been named. You can't even continue. Uh, why do you think that? Oh, good Lord. What does it have to do with thinking? Uh, it doesn't. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good question. Well, it. I mean, <laughs> you're just telling me that, well, I've named the trustee and the beneficiaries are named who haven't been named to me. So I don't know who they are and they're, they're really not interested. I mean, if, if life were that easy, anybody could do that in any criminal charge, anybody get charged with anything. Well, I'll just name myself the trustee of the person of and name some beneficiaries. Then you're off the hook. You know, things just don't work that way. How come they don't and do so it? So in terms of, you know, the, at, at some point, um, on the, uh, he is cool. There was a scene where you were contacted by a law enforcement officer, or maybe even more than one. They identified some charges that, or some statutes you were you were not complying with, um, including you know the special field trip permit, and you refused to comply with the officers and things of that sort. So they refer that to the prosecutor's office. They're charging a crime, and these and I've told you what those two crimes are. And now, again, these cases either resolve, and if you've been on the Zoom call, I think, which I think you have for a while, you've seen some of these cases resolve, or they go for a jury trial. And again, you've seen all these other attorneys who represent these folks. I mean, if they could get, if they could make these cases go away simply by naming someone as a trustee or naming the charge person as a trustee, I mean, shoot, they'd all do it. And then nobody could ever be... Uh, um, prosecutor for anything so <clears throat> that's why i'm wondering why you think that and now i'm losing my voice but it'll come back i promise <clears throat> so if you're gonna keep just judge is the fly ahead. attorney here i mean if you're just gonna keep repeating that to me <laughs> then um uh, much of a choice other than we'll just set this to a jury trial and then you can repeat that to the jury I don't know what you're see talking where, about. See how that turns out. But I don't, I mean, I don't really have much of a choice here right now. I object. Isn't the uh, <laughs> prosecutor supposed to be speaking and ruling between me and the prosecutor? <laughs> Say that again. He, he, this isn't going to, according to his script, Judge. Come on. I didn't understand that. Would you would you would you please repeat that? <laughs> How come this the prosecutor is not saying anything? Why is the prosecutor silent? Well, because part of my job is trying to identify who's here. And then the prosecutor did say that they want to figure out whether you're 
um, either representing yourself or you want an attorney. And so that started the conversation between me and you as to whether or not you want an attorney or not. And and there's no reason whatsoever for the prosecutor to speak right now because they they uh, they're not part of this particular conversation. Dummy. Also, none of your business. I, I frankly, I still haven't gotten an answer. You just when I ask you that question, you just go back to restating yourself as the trustee of the person of Muhammad interest, and then the beneficiaries have been named. So I want to get through that hurdle. And then, uh, um, you know, I have some responsibility to do some things here before we really hear from the prosecutor. Prosecutor will, um, I suppose, if this case goes to jury trial, they'll do that. They can negotiate with you some sort of resolution to the, to the problem if you wish to do that. Um, I can set this over for a period of time to give you an opportunity to do that. But, um, it, and again, I... I you still haven't even admitted that you're the person who was pulled over by the police officers on that day. So, I mean, we kind of have to get through some of these preliminary hurdles before we can get to that. The trustee of the person is here. And the I beneficiaries. Know. You, you have said, been, yeah, we've heard. You have said. The beneficiaries, you have said. <laughs> the beneficiaries have already been named. All right. Um, Do you understand that the prosecutor is an attorney who's passed the bar, uh, practiced law in the state of Washington, appears here fairly regularly, and knows the rules of evidence and um, well, yeah, uh, criminal procedure, and quite familiar with them, given that that's what uh, their job is? I object to being the trust store. Okay. Do you understand what a prosecutor's job is? <laughs> I object to being the trustor. Um, it's worse than the shoveler. All right, you can go ahead and mute back up. You can, you can, you can stop your camera, and then. Uh, um, we'll come back here in a minute. And so, <laughs> Mr. Put him in time Newcomb, out again. Are you still there? Time out number two. Is not. Um. Who's that? Two thirty. With we only have two thirty calendars. No. Who's they? Uh, the Rodriguez case. I don't see the Rodriguez case on the calendar. Um, um, yeah, I, and she just responded back to me. <laughs> so Rodriguez can go. Yes. And then who's the attorney on that? Um, Ms. Lazarek. So Ms. Lazarek, are you here for Mr. Rodriguez? I was told that, I was just told by the clerk that that was reset. Or is that your understanding also? It looks like it was, Your Honor. I apologize. Um, it was left on our, our calendar, so we were doing a change of plea today, but we can um, wait until that 19th day. Okay. So you you and Mr. Rodriguez are free to go then? Thank you, Your Honor. All right. And next time he, he dials in, tell him not to be in a moving car. Yes, Your Honor. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Mr. Fugate. Afternoon, Your Honor. You're on the Crippen matter. Uh, what's happening today? Well, it's set for a pretrial. Uh, the mm -hmm. state and myself and my client have been in negotiations. I think we are very close. We essentially have a plea agreement. We're just working out the fine details of that. Um, so my client executed a speedy trial waiver. Okay, well, now we're live. We were behind, now we're live.
<laughs> so Mr. Nuke, Mr. Fugate, can you hear me? And then do we know who the, there's a, on the <clears throat> phone call ending in 8851, who is that? It's April Crippen. <clears throat> oh, okay. So you're here with Mr. Fugate. Damn. And so it sounds like he was going to reset this either in sometime in September, but then we kind of lost him there. We're, we're, we're just hanging in. We're hanging in because he's going to come back. Yeah, I, um, I believe that's the plan. I did sign some documents to that effect. All right. Two timeouts. So, ma'am, you, you can go ahead and go then. And then when Mr. Fugate comes back, we'll set that. You can communicate with him as to what your trial, what your court date is going to be. All right. Okay. Sounds wonderful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And then okay, bye -bye. Mr. Fugate's gone. Bye -bye. And then Mr. Newcomb, are you still there? He, he will talk to anybody except the defendant. <laughs> <laughs> the trustee. All right, Mr. Ed, Mr. Idris, you can come back on the Zoom call, oh, please. Activate your I'm, camera. <laughs> he was even slow at that. I love it. So I'm just going to talk for a few minutes and um, <laughs> and then I'm going to tell you what, what we're going to do here going from here. It looks to me like um, your first appearance on these cases was on July 17th and um, speedy trial runs through right now, October 15th, 2023. So you are charged, as it looks like you were in front of a pro tem back on July 17th. You're charged, I said, with two crimes and there's one infraction. Please, if not guilty, you'll be entered. Anytime anyone's ever charged with a crime, they have a number of rights. You have the right to be represented by an attorney, which I've talked about. You also have the right to um, you know, go to trial and call witnesses and so forth. And so... Um, hang on, just like, let me finish, please. Don't interrupt me. I know what you're about to say, but I'm, I'm just going to... I'm going to talk for a while here, so just please don't interrupt me. And at the end of it, my, then you can you can say what you're going to say. All right. My apologies. My apologies. <clears throat> so this case has started. This case is headed towards trial, apparently. And um, <clears throat> if my voice holds out, uh, the trial is going to take place someday before uh, October 15th. You have the right to an attorney, as I said. You also have the right to represent yourself. If you choose to represent yourself, I just want to advise you that you would be at a serious disadvantage. The prosecutor, as I tried to explain earlier, is a trained attorney, been through law school, been practicing law for a while, well-trained, well-versed in the rules of evidence, well-trained, well-versed in the rules of criminal procedure, been through jury trials before, they know how to conduct them. And so if you were to represent yourself, you would be at a huge disadvantage. Um, it would be to your great advantage to have an attorney appointed or you can hire an attorney to represent you. But as I said before, you do have the right to uh, uh, represent yourself. And uh, normally you go through some sort of conversation with folks. I've been I've had I've been doing this job for a number of years now. I've had several people represent themselves. Normally, there's a conversation I've had with people about asking them that they're aware that if they represent themselves, they'd be at a disadvantage. I tried to engage in that discussion with you. You just kind of reverted back to repeating that you're the trustee of the person and the beneficiaries and the name and so forth. But I, rather than go through the question and answer portion, I'm just gonna tell you that's where we're at. So we're gonna set this case. We're gonna do two things here today. We're gonna set the case for trial. You're gonna get notice in the mail of that. You're also going to set, I'm going to set a status hearing or a pretrial hearing in about three weeks. And then somebody else, maybe it'll be me, will probably go through, try and go through all this again. And, um, but I'm going to tell you some things that, you know, and you said you object to this and you object to that. And you're free to object to anything you want. But uh, um, I have the ability to either overrule the objection, which means, you know, turn down your objection or sustain your objection. And I and it's having I'm having trouble actually understanding what your objections are, and so um, and again I'm going to lay out some of the um, some of what's going to happen at trial if it goes that far. In a trial, they have a group of citizens come in, 
uh, both uh, the attorney and defense attorney or, or the person represent themselves, the prosecutor has an opportunity to question them, talk about the issues that might come up in the case. Then they can eliminate who they don't want on the jury. And then six, you will end up on a jury and then the state will present their case. Um, you or an attorney or you on your own behalf or you as the trustee of the person can present your case or explain to the jury why you think you should be found not guilty of what you're charged with. And so in the grand scheme of things, frankly, the charges that you're charged with are not far from the most serious that we see around here. They're not. They're, um, but they are crimes and they are in their own way uh, serious. And so I don't know whether anything I've said has made any impression on you at all, um, but that's what's going to happen here today. And um, if you wish to, in that, so this case is headed for trial. And um, like I say, we'll do a sometime before October 15th, but we're going to do a um, intervening. And I'll tell you when that is. We can want you set up just a status pre-trial for like about three weeks. And you can think about what's going on here. You can think if you want to take some alternative place. If you want to just come to court and keep repeating the same thing to me, when you get in front of a jury, you keep repeating that same thing to somebody else. You know, that's, I, I suppose there's no way I can stop you of, of doing that, but I'm just trying to enlighten you on what's going to happen. And, um, you know, some of, you know, your objections you talk about, see, that's the advantage the attorneys have. You, the attorneys know when objections are well-founded and when they're not. And I kind of get the sense from you that you really, don't have a complete um, or accurate idea of what this is all about and what's happening. And so you think um, <laughs> I tried to spend some time uh, explaining that to you as best I could. And um, I guess I'll, I told you I'd let you speak or hinted that I would let you speak. I'll go ahead and tell you, do you have any response or any thoughts on this or you're going to, would you, you understand this is going to trial or, Go ahead. I've said what I'm going to say. I'll, I'll turn things over to you. Anything, any response to any of that? Again, I object. I'm standing at what I said. <laughs> uh, and and what trustee. specifically do you object to? Just so I can create a record, so I'll make a ruling on your objection. What, what are you objecting to? I'm objecting to everything you're saying. It's, it's a hearsay. It's an assumption. Okay. It's presumption. a hearsay. <laughs> it's a tacit agreement. It, it has nothing to do with the facts. That's why I'm the trustee. It has All something right. to do. It has every objection. All objections. And the beneficiaries have already been named. That's why I have a All trust. Right. And my trust is uh, is private, and I don't I don't see your trust. Your trust. And in the uh, trust that you have, uh, the trust that uh, the prosecutor has named you as the trustee. That's why you keep asking the prosecutor what they want to do, because they named you the trustee. <laughs> and you guys no. brought me into court to bear gift, to give out gifts. See, and I'm not here to give out any gifts. Right. I'm here to object to giving out any gifts that's supposed to reduce the public debt. Am I wrong? Sweet Jesus. What? Really, the, frankly, that's kind of the sad thing because uh, um, I'm really not sure, sure completely of what you're saying, but a lot, of the, a lot of the things you just said are quite simply not true. And I asked the prosecutor where they wanted to go in the case because they filed the case and they choose to go forward. Sometimes, as you've seen today, if you've been paying attention, the prosecutor said, no, Your Honor, we're going to dismiss this thing. And so I dismiss it. So I asked the prosecutor, they filed the case. What do you want to do with this case? They said they want to go forward, which brought about this conversation that we've been having. And that's just one example of one of the things you're wrong about in terms of this whole trust trustee thing. Um, I don't know what that means to you, but I have an idea of what a trustee and a tr um, is and things of that sort. And I don't have a trust. I'm not anybody's trustor or trustee. In, in this court, neither is the prosecutor. Um, and so when you say, am I wrong? You know, the short answer to that is, yeah. And unfortunately, and I 
I'm taking some time to try and explain it to you, but I just don't feel like I'm breaking through. But to answer your question, am I wrong? Yes, you're wrong about a number of things, which is really unfortunate that I can't explain sure. that to you or make that clear to you. What's your evidence? Evidence is clarity. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry? What's your evidence that I'm wrong? Well, the, I mean, <laughs> you know, <laughs> other, than, other than me just telling you that I'm not a trust, I can't prove something that I can't prove something doesn't exist. I mean, there is no trust. There's nothing else. And, and I have no documents that saying there's not one. But, and I don't have any document. There is no document saying that there is one. And so, again, that's on that single issue. That's. So you're not coming after my. Uh... Personal trust? No. So personal again, trust. I'm not sure. Well, well, let me rephrase. I'm not sure what that means. Again, you're charged with a crime. You, that that crime needs to be resolved, or either through trial or um, resolution of some kind. And so, in terms of coming after your personal trust, and and by the way, you know, I'm not the one who filed the charges. That was done by the prosecutor and all of that. And so, what they're trying to do i think and i don't know this for sure and i'm just trying to do this by way of explanation not because i'm on anyone's side you know it's their responsibility they're bringing the charge it's their responsibility to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt it's your or the defense attorney's role to say explain why the charge should never have been brought or that their reasonable doubt as exists as the charge was ever committed that's what this is about this whole trust thing i i think you're just going down a way that's really doesn't have any relevance to what's happening here. And I, and I've, tr and I've tried to explain that to you. And I, and I, I, I'm more than willing to continue to, we can't go at it all afternoon, but uh, um, I'm trying to make this as clear as I can to you. But I, and again, it's unfortunate. It's a failing on my part that I'm not able to break through to you. Your honor, if I might for a moment. In a minute. Um, so I guess, We'll we'll set it for status hearing. We'll set trial dates, and then then we'll just go from there. Your Honor, based on this conversation, the state has concerns about the defendant's competency. Yeah, we're not going to go down that route right now. Right now, and so you can raise that, but I'm not denying that with without prejudice. But at this time, we're not. For one thing, as you well know, given the nature of the charges uh, um, and given the schedule, this case will drag everything on for, we'll be here for the next couple of years. And at this point, I'm not prepared to do that. So you can bring this up again if you wish, but for right now, we're, we're not gonna go there. And do you understand what the state just said to me? And what I turned them down for? Again, that's a yes or no question. The state, the state, the representative from the state, the prosecutor, she just said something to me. And I said, no, we're not doing that now. She made a request of me. And so do you know what that request was? I am the trustee and the beneficiaries have been already named, so. All right. I'm now reconsidering um, that request. Did you consent discovery? Oh. <laughs> no, Your Honor. Okay. Because. Yeah, I, under, I understand why. I understand why. I really don't think he's incompetent. I think he's just being a jackass to um, on purpose. I think that's the case with most of them. All right, we're gonna. So what's three weeks? What's three weeks from today? When's the trial date? We're gonna reset this to September thirteenth. Put it at the end of the calendar. Or, okay. <laughs> what what time? Um, <laughs> at two thirty. That'll he's be your next court date. All he says is, "I object." You're free to go. Oh, he's got uh, trusty. Mr. Fugate, are you back? <laughs> he's got trusty listed on his Zoom. <laughs> I am, Your Honor. My, so you fell off somehow. Is, Your my case is far less interesting than. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
that my case is far less interesting than your prior case. Um, your client was here, and then when you dropped off, I told her she could go ahead and go. All right, all right. Now that now that we're here already, I've got this put together. Let's do it. We're gonna go see. We're gonna go see Stone Cold Jay Regeer. We're doing it. We're doing it, and we're doing it now. State, it looks like you're ready. The state is prepared to proceed, Your Honor. Shall we take up William Powell then, Mr. Regeer? Mr. Powell, if you're here, could you please start your video and your audio? Should I have a little red icon that looks like a... Uh... This guy's looking for a break on his traffic ticket, but he, he has the wrong prosecutor. <laughs> oh, sort of like a camera with a line through it? <laughs> Stone Cold Regeer. Having Very none good. of it. Very good. All right. We are on the record in 2023 TR 671, State of Kansas versus William Edward Powell, Jared Regeer for the state, Mr. Powell in person and pro se. This matter is scheduled today for a bench trial on the one charge of speeding 96 in a 75. Are you still wanting that trial, Mr. Powell? Um, yes, ma'am, I believe so. I, um, just asking, just come up before the court for leniency. Please forgive my appearance. I was in an accident. I'm sorry to hear that. And there's no problem with your appearance. Uh, I see the uh, state. It looks like you're ready. The state is prepared to proceed, Your Honor. All right. Any opening statements from the state? Your Honor, the state would respectfully waive opening argument at this time. And any opening statements, Mr. Powell? Just as you know, I'm I'm one mile over any diversion program or anything mm -hmm. regarding that. I like I said the last time I spoke to you guys, I I I not I was incarcerated for 17 years and I. And I've changed my whole life and, and built a company that that vehicle insurance is so important. And 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 I'm just asking for that one mile an hour leniency to not just literally cripple everything I've worked so hard for to to build and to fix my life and to make something other than what my past is. And 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 that that. 21 mile is is really detrimental to everything that I've worked for, you know. Well, I, I think what you're addressing is the uh, requirements of the state's diversion program. Yeah. So, uh, so he he makes what I think is a very good pro se plea, very reasonable, uh, to the point, rational, the whole bit. Guess who doesn't care? And that is strictly their call to make. I, I can't change that. Only they could do that. I presume you've talked to them about this. I've I've called multiple times, but it's always the same. You know, you that I was just one mile over. Okay. And Mr. Regier, is there any last minute considerations, or shall we begin? Your Honor, the state is prepared to begin. Um, if the defendant does wish to enter a plea, I would be prepared to um, recommend legal minimums as far as the um, fine is concerned. But other than that, um, the state is prepared to proceed to trial. All right. So, you will get nothing and like it. All right. <laughs> looks, looks like I probably just need to plead guilty. Well, it's, it's your call to make. It looks like the state has the trooper here and ready to go. But Judge wants the, the state to give him the, the mile an hour break. 
in the worst way, but it's not her place. She's absolutely appropriate. She gives him every opportunity, but she knows it's not going to happen. She knows it. Uh, you do have the option to plead guilty and proceed with sentencing. You also have the option to continue your not guilty plea and proceed with trial. And then there's that third plea, which is no contest. You don't admit it, but you don't deny it. You'd still be found guilty, most likely, though. Okay. Um, uh, and uh, would, it, would it possibly benefit me in any way to... I mean, I just don't want, I mean, what's the difference in a minimum? I'm, I'm still, it's still the problem with the insurance, no matter what, whether the fine is low or high, right? Well, some insurance companies, I understand, will hold a speeding ticket against you. Others, I understand, won't, or it depends on other factors. So yeah. I'm not the one to tell you that. Is, can I pay more money and can I pay more extra money and have two miles knocked off again that would be up to the state are you still on parole at this time mr powell no not at all i'm okay. no i'm not on any type of anything okay I, I was just inquiring if this if that had some of your motivation to no not at all not at all i've i have i i currently have a department of corrections badge i go into prisons and do ministry i uh i am the only licensed uh, uh, DLC badge care that picks up inmates at our local prison and takes them to church. And, uh, and I just donated my second building to our skilled trade center for the prisons. I donated 25,000 last year to build a building to teach inmates electrical, heat and air and plumbing. And we donated our second building this year. You know, I, you know, I, I don't, I'm not on any type of, Okay, well, it sounds like you're doing a great service, uh, but at this point, <laughs> sounds like sounds like the type of guy who who, who might deserve a break. But uh, turn, you know, you know, Regeer is representing the state here. I don't, I don't know what to say to you, sir. <laughs> point, the state's got their rules for their diversion, and they, okay. they indicated they're uh, they'll go to trial. The uh, okay. Modify their rules. So. Jay Regeer, the honey badger of prosecutors. <laughs> he, he don't give a shit. <laughs> okay, I guess. I mean, I guess we'll go to trial. All right. Okay. So, Mr. Regeer, please call your first witness. Yes, Your Honor. The state calls um, Trooper Gage Cole to the stand. Please raise your right hand, sir. You solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give shall be the truth, the whole truth. And nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do, Your Honor. Thank you. Please proceed, Mr. Regeer. Uh, please state your name for the record. H. Cole. Where are you employed? Uh, Kansas Highway Patrol and a state trooper. And, um, and how long has you worked as an officer as a state trooper? Over four years now. Uh, were you on active duty in your professional capacity on February 16th of this year at approximately 4 p.m.? Yes, sir. And do you know the Sally Port stash? Just, just curious. And um, at that time, where were you at? I was conducting my regular patrol duties on uh, I-35. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, in, and at this time, were you on I-35 in Butler County? Uh, Yes, sir. Okay. And um, were you in a vehicle or on foot in the course of your regular duties? I was in a vehicle. Okay. Um, were you moving at the time? Yes, sir. Okay. And um, what direction were you headed? I was traveling north when I first identified the vehicle. Okay. Um, and as you're traveling north, uh, could you please describe your immediate surroundings for the court at the time? Are you wanting the roadway or traffic? Um, just your general surroundings, as you recall them. So I was traveling north on I-35, and I had uh, noticed a, a, a pickup traveling at 96 miles an hour. I checked that vehicle speed with my front opposite radar, and then as he passed me, I checked it on my rear opposite radar. He's a big fan of alcohol. Now, um, where you were at the time, were you within city limits, if you recall? I don't believe so. 
Um, were there any trees or bridges that you remember? No, sir. All right. Um, and 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 at this part of I thirty five, is that um, paved? Yes, sir. Okay. And is um, I thirty five a multiple lane highway? Yes, sir. It's got two lanes for northbound traffic, two lanes for southbound traffic, with a cement barrier uh, dividing a full access control interstate. Okay. And so, uh, and of these things that you've described regarding the physical characteristics of your surrounding, did they impair your field of vision in any way? No, sir. Are you familiar with TSA 8 1558? Yes, sir. And um, what does that say about drivers and maximum speed limits? It states that they can only go uh, the, up to the post maximum speed limit for a designated roadway. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, at this time, I respectfully request the court take judicial notice of KSA 8, 1558. Judicial notice is so taken. Thank you. Uh, Trooper, do you consider yourself capable of identifying traffic violations when you see them? Yes, sir. Um, besides your uh, four years on the job, do you have any um, other special training, especially of a recurring nature, on this? Yes, we have... Uh I have LIDAR certifications. Um, we have continuing education in speed enforcement and moving violation uh, vehicle enforcement. Okay. And this continuing education, how often does that occur? That's annually, 40 hours minimum every year. Okay. Now, you've already talked about um, the truck, um, which I believe you said was speeding. Uh, do you remember the type of truck it was? I do not immediately recall. Okay. Do you remember the color? I believe it was a black Ford pickup. And um, and um, and in general, would you say this Ford was traveling quickly or slowly? Yes. Quickly or slowly? Quickly. Okay. And. Um, and you all, and you already mentioned that you measured the Ford speed using um, radar. Is that Stalker radar? Yes, Stalker DSR two X. Okay. And um, are you certified to use this equipment as well as lidar? Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, do you use testing to um, check that the Stalker radar is working properly? Yes, sir. Before each shift. Before each shift. Okay. And um, what does this testing typically involve? I have a cheat card right here. Um, it basically just has us switch the radar from stationary and moving using a 25 uh, frequency tuning fork and a 40 frequency tuning fork to make sure that the speeds match up with the um, uh, what is appropriate for the test to be performed accurately. Okay. And suppose, in theory, you had a situation where the um, you confirmed that the stock radar was not working properly. What would happen then? Uh, that, that device would be placed out of service, and uh, we would work to get a functioning radar unit in the vehicle before any enforcement action was taken. Okay. And that is, and that is standard procedure as far as the uh, stalker radar is concerned? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. um, prior to your shift on um, February 16th, <laughs> did you perform the testing? Yes, sir. And did the testing... Um, how, well, how did the testing come out? It came out as appropriate. Okay. Um, can you confirm that the uh, Ford was specifically clocked by the stalker radar? Yes, sir. And how do you know that? Um, I, I observed that vehicle traveling quickly, and I also locked its speed using both the front uh, antenna and the rear antenna of my uh, radar unit. So if I understand you correctly, you measured the Ford twice with your front unit and your rear unit? Yes, initially. I had also measured it a third time once I had caught up to the vehicle. Okay. And um, you've already uh, mentioned that you uh, measured the Ford speed at 96 miles per hour. What is the posted speed in this area? Posted speed limit on uh, I-35 is 75. So a difference of 21 miles an hour. Yes, sir. Um, what happened after you measured the Ford speed? I had measured the Ford speed, both front opposite and rear opposite radar. 
Um, and then I had attempted to find a, a turnaround in the barrier wall uh, in which I could affect a, a turnaround and start traveling south to then catch up to the Ford. Uh, were you ultimately able to catch up to the Ford? Yes, sir. Um, and did you uh, conduct a traffic stop upon doing so? Yes, sir, I did. Okay. Um, and once you conducted the stop, were you able to identify the driver of the Ford? Yes, sir. And um, did you use any form of identification to identify them? Yes, he. I, I believe he had an Oklahoma driver's license. Do you see the driver of the Ford present in the Zoom conference? Yes, sir. Could you please um, point the driver out and give a brief description for the court? Um, Mr. William on the Zoom call. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, let the record reflect that the witness has identified the defendant. The record will so reflect. Um, Trooper, were you ever able to speak to the defendant? Yes, sir, I was. And uh, did you discuss the speeding? Yes, sir. And um, how did the defendant respond, if you recall? The defendant, uh, I <laughs> believe in my notes. <laughs> You give me one moment here. I have that the driver shook his head. He it, seemingly to indicate that he knew why he was being stopped, and he stated that he was um, coming back or heading to work. Uh, he had been he'd been working. Um, and did you um, ever write a defendant the defendant a citation for speeding? Yes, I did. And um, when you wrote the citation, how did the defendant respond? Defendant, he was a little upset. He wanted a he wanted a break, and I I had informed him that that would be the court's responsibility, um, and not necessarily mine. <laughs> he sure Are you to redirect no further questions? Mr. Powell, have you any questions? Of he, he, at the beginning, he established that I thirty five or whatever was paved. I mean, it, like he isn't—he is not missing anything. The trooper. <laughs> oh, ma'am, um, just the fact that the same conversation I'm having with you is the same conversation I had with him. Okay. Just, you know, just just asking for for just you know understanding what I did. It, it's a new truck. All right. And well, I'm, hang on, hang on. You're so that's basically a question, trooper. Did is that pretty much the same conversation? More or less, Your Honor. Okay. All right. So he agrees with you. Anything else, Mr. You know it's a swing. Well, you'll get a chance to tell whatever else you want to, but any questions of this witness? All right. Thank you. Mr. Regeer, any other evidence you wish to present? No, Your Honor. All right. It sounds like the state's resting. Mr. Powell, did you want to testify? No, ma'am. All right. So any final? Ah, oh, this guy is even more likable. He doesn't waste the court's time with any of it. He just wants leniency. He says so openly, gives a good case for it, and shuts up. He he doesn't try to BS and say no, I wasn't or anything. No argument. No. Mr. Regeer. No. All right. Well, Mr. Powell, I'm very impressed with the way you've turned your life around and the way you're helping others. That that was very admirable, and I encourage you to keep doing that. Unfortunately, in this situation, you were going 96 and a 75, and I do have to find you guilty. The scheduled fine is 114. The court costs are 108. The, the uh, total due would be 222. Now, I would be happy to give you some time to pay that if you need it. I, I can pay it right now. Okay. Let's see. Would you like to pay that online? I can pay it however it needs to be paid. Well, I can pay it online, yeah. If you're in Oklahoma, I'm not going to ask you to drive all the way up here if you don't want to. <laughs> so uh, why don't I give you the website? It may be on your ticket.
There you go. Jay or Gary. I'm Officer Scott, Coral Springs Police. Stop me for your speed. You're going 70 and a 40. Give your driver license and insurance card. Uh, give me a moment. Okay. Okay, everybody sent this to me. It's a fantastic find. Oh, shoot, I forgot. Who is it? I'll say who it is, who I got it from. Uh, Court King? No, I, I, I don't, I don't want to say it wrong. But this is, uh, this is a great soft set clip. Yeah, no, I didn't know. I didn't know. I Tell know me in the this. chat what channel I, this I was on. I don't know. Any. You didn't I know what? don't understand. I'm showing you. Here's the radar unit. You were going 70 miles an hour. The speed limit on University is only 40. You scanned me with that. I didn't know that. I'm scaring you with that. I said you scanned me with oh, that. Oh, yeah. I didn't give consent for that. You, you don't need to give consent for that. Your name is? I'm Officer Scott. Okay. I need your driver license and your insurance card, please. Okay. Um, 44, go ahead and roll me, a, roll me a routine, please. Give me a moment. Bravo, 42. I'm just going to reach for my paperwork. Mm -hmm. Okay, no weapons in the car or anything like no that? Weapons. Okay. We actually pulled into the Petco parking lot here. Yeah, I did. Please fill this. Petco parking lot. No, I need your driver license and your insurance card. I'm going to need you to fill this. No, I need your driver license and your insurance card. I'm going to need you to fill this out. Okay. I need your driver license and your insurance card. You said okay. I need you to fill this I'll give you a pen. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, 454, I'll stay in route. Pick up parking lot. <laughs> I need your information. I need your information. And I need your driver license and your insurance card. Uh, if you're failing to comply. I don't want to make this difficult. I don't either. I want to make this very easy, but you're making it very difficult. Because I've asked you several Bro. times now for your driver okay. license and your insurance card. And you're failing to comply. When you get pulled over by the police, when you get pulled over by the police, you have an obligation to provide identification. You also have an obligation to provide proof of insurance. Yeah, 4429 valid. Register to a Frank. Say me. Yes. Cesario. 44. If you could roll a supervisor. While you wait, you could like do that. No, I'm gonna wait for you. I, I, this, I'm trying to be mutual. Probably 44, no, you're not. I think you I've asked you several times for your driver license. Driver you driver license. You don't want me. You don't want to give me your driver license. That's not one. You, you, you want to argue you. and you want to do this sovereign citizen stuff, and yeah, this is I'm not, not going to work out right I'm not now. A sovereign. I'm this not is not going to work out for you. I'm not sovereign. Either. Okay. I have a, a, a from that license. I'm going to give you one more chance to provide your driver license before I pull you out of the car and detain you in handcuffs. I'm. I'm not. Give, you, all you're doing is under duress. You gotta give me time, and I'm asking. None of this is under duress. I've asked you several times, and I'm, I'm, I'm working with you. There is no duress here. You haven't even attempted to locate a driver license. I'm doing that. How, how are you lying? You don't have a driver license in your phone, sir. I, I need a how, physical driver license from you. You're not. There is I'm, no such thing as I'm an not, electronic not, version of a I'm driver not license. Thinking. That's that's a lie. Okay, this is uh, from Crime Scene Cam. I'll, I'll put a link to the channel in the description. The, the, I think that's the original place, but I don't know. That Whatever it is, that's where I got it from. That That's that's where this clip is. No, it's not, not a lie. You're cooperating with me. Okay. Give me a moment. You, you held me under the rest. I can turn off my car. I'm yes, please turn your rest. car off. Give me a moment. Turn your car off. Give me a moment. Turn your car off. Give me a moment. You're doing too no. much. Do, do, you, Stop. You're using, Stop. You're using aggressive Stop. words. Stop. I don't have anything in my pocket. Relax. You scare me. You scare me. Relax. Get out of the car. Relax. Hold on. Relax. I feel safe right here. Come down. Come down. I can hold on. Try and get away. You're not allowed. Come out of the car. I'm not going to oppose anything. Come out of the car. Come out of the car. You being Face aggressive. away from me. Please. Face away from me. Allow me. Face away from me. No. Face away from me. Is it because I'm wearing all black? Turn around me. right now! Please. Bravo 23, Gary, five years. Face away from me. Give me your hand. Oh my eye. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Do it now. Do it now, right now. You're under arrest. No, I'm not. I'm a wolf. I'm a wolf. Stop. Leave your hands behind your back. Did you hear what he said there? It sounded like he said, I'm a wolf. I know he didn't say I'm a wolf, but that's what it sounded like to me. Stop. I got a warning on my face. Could you allow me to get my stuff? That wouldn't allow me. I don't have it in my pocket. I have a license. I have registration. I have You're under arrest. Don't allow me. That's logic. Now I'm going, y'all going to court, man. Y'all using excessive court. I have my license, registration, and he won't allow me. I got it. 
I have a direct yeah, from Cherry Road. Y'all going too much. And then you call me a sovereign. And then you I, you can allow up. You can allow on the oak. I just put these pants. This cop is fantastic start to finish. He is not having any of this at all. He's he's dealt with it before, it's it's clear to me. And he is just not having it and 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 has all the right answers. I just put this pants so you won't allow me to get anything. I can't enough. roll I can't around your other fast side. Enough. Which I use so much it's all on body cam. So everybody will be able to see just how much time I gave you to provide an ID when you refused over and over. I did refuse. I asked you to fill out that paperwork. That's what Bring your knees up to your chest. Do it now. Where, what? Roll over onto your knees. You got me some ass. Sit up. Stand up. Stand up. What part of stand up don't you understand? I, you can put them in I don't microphone. understand. Is that... I don't know. I pulled him over. I asked him for ID. He gives me this, tells me I need to fill this out. So I continue to ask him for his ID over and over and over. I told him we're not going to play the sovereign citizen thing. He says I'm not a sovereign. He says he's looking for his ID in his phone. I told him two or three times there's no such thing as an electronic version of a driver license. He tells me I'm a liar. So I go to pull him out, he starts resisting. Yeah, he's a sovereign. Now I guess the question becomes, can I go in here to find a license or do I have to wait? Uh, let's just wait. Why even bother looking for a license? Oh, I got ID him. Rapid ID. I have that. You have rapid ID? Yeah. Who's the car registered to? I haven't even checked yet. I didn't have time. I'll check for you. All right. Points, we can have you. So you guys understand. Yeah, Sir, I couldn't have made it any more clear that I needed your driver license. See, I'm scared. You're supposed to be You're supposed to be sensible. You're supposed to be helping me. Hey, what are you, 44? Yes. You're doing this for, for money. This has nothing this to do with money. This is for money. Because, you no, know, the way you just disrespect me, I'm going I'm to... I know, I know. I know. You do whatever you have to do. I told you we're not going to play this sovereign citizen, citizen I didn't thing. say that. You, well, you're trying to have me fill out sovereign citizen paperwork. No, I'm not. That's the paperwork gets your information so I know who you are. I told you who I was. The very, as a enough. matter of fact, the very first thing I said to you was, I'm Officer Scott Coral Springs Police. I just asked you to fill out that information. Yep. That's all I did. Yes, that is. Fill out that information. And you didn't comply with any lawful command. I said, give me a moment. I'm doing I gave this. you several moments. No. Yes. Disrespectful, man. Yeah, I know yeah. you are. Yeah, I did. No, oh man, I'm not going back and forth with you. No, you're, you're going really to jail. You're doing this for money. <laughs> no. You're doing this. No, you're not going back and forth. You're going to jail where you belong. Uh huh. For money. I'm doing this because you, you I was conducting speed enforcement for the, for the safety of the public because we have a s several crashes at this intersection. You're driving 30 miles an hour over the speed limit. He's right. And then, you, I don't, I don't, then you refuse to provide a driver license when I ask for it. You ain't give me the time. I can't. You talking about I'll, there's no such you thing know what? additional license. I'm going to write it in the police report just how many times I asked you and how long it took. It's recorded. Yes. Every Everything single moment. Is every single moment of our conversation My is actions recorded. is recorded. So you, they can, you can every see I'm trying moment. to show you information. <laughs> no. It's going to show that you don't want to it's cooperate. It's most certainly going to show that I asked you well, several well, times for an ID and you wanted to play in your phone need, and give me a paper true. to fill I'm out. My, my camera because I don't have, if you check my pockets, I don't have uh, I, We're watching the video right now. It's not favorable to you, my man. It, it, it isn't. I don't have anything on my pockets. I just came from the gym. I'm trying to give you information. You didn't what try you to give me anything. I'm going to get it right now. I need your right index finger. I'm Jacquez of the Wilson family. Jacquez of the Wilson family? Yes. Is that your whole name? J-A-Q-U-E-Z? Yeah. Is that how you spell it? Uppercase J, lowercase A, uppercase W, of the family of the of the family Wilson. So uppercase W. Like that. Lowercase I. Somewhat. Somewhat or or that's not it? I, listen, is that I, how you spell your name or I'm, not? I'm being held under the rest. My, is my, that how you spell your name or not? No. How do you spell your name? So there's an E at the end. I, I told you J A C Q, uh, uppercase J A, uh, lowercase A C, uh, uppercase. Like, listen, if E S E, uh, E S E. That's how I spell spell my name. Lowercase A. That's how it's on your driver's license. Q, e S E. U. 
I don't know that he even has a driver license. I need your right index finger. This is very You difficult. can face that way. And I'll, I'll go ahead and take care of it. Face that way. Is this for a citation? Face that way. This is for your arrest paperwork. So I, face I, that way. I, 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 like, I'm, listen, I, I have. If you don't provide me, me with your ID. no consent to scam me. If you don't, you don't provide do. me with your ID, it's going to be an additional charge. I would like to. Cause I would like to provide okay, then you Okay, please face that way so I can get your identification. But this is not the the. I'm going to ask you again. Please face that way so I can provide you with you. You can provide me with your identification. You just want to make this worse than me. No, I don't. Yes, I, I want to make this as easy as possible. I got all my and you're making it difficult. This is all under the rest. Is I try to give you my information. Stop talking, Jacquez of the Wilson family. Just do what the officer asks you. How hard is that? I'm shaking because you scared me because you don't want to provide any kind of identification for yourself. I can't even stand up. Because right. I'm so I'm so scared. I'm under duress. Right. I'm you scared. like you're scared under duress. So stop talking and just mind your business under duress. What, what does that mean? You, I mean, shut up you, and mind your business. You're right. This is not my business. <laughs> All right, your right finger again. Can you go see if, if he found this? This guy? Uh, yeah, don't, don't push down. I'm going to do the pressure I'm here. I'm not doing anything. You shaking. Yeah, I'm shaking. I told you. You scared me because you don't want to provide any information I, I was, about yourself. I was scared. I couldn't even stand up. I was a deer in headlights. It's all recorded. I'm just, I'm just thankful to be alive. But I see you got all this. I don't know why you're trying to make it difficult for me. Right index finger. I wasn't. I was really. Trying you were to trying to make it very I, difficult I for me. I don't have my license and my my pants. But that, I know I always have my two times in the seize tag. Oh, He's okay. got it with a picture and everything. Oh, so your license is no good, and they want your tag. That's why you didn't want to give me your information. That that's not that's not completely true. I sent a, a letter to uh, Miss De Terry uh, Rose uh, for my authentication for my license, and that's true. And I have the paperwork, and I know a license. I, I have all this. I have. A proof of insurance. Uh, I could, look, look, if look, look, I, listen, I'm not trying to harm anybody. You don't want to hear that. You want to send another black person on the black chill. That, I, it I, has nothing to do I, with I, black. I do not. I'm. I'm not consenting. I do not want. To, okay. Not no problem. Consent to jail. That's. You don't have to consent to jail. You're going. I, I'm. Okay. <laughs> they just make it known. He's registered on jail. Okay. Yeah. 1035 DLT. So he's suspended, no. license not Can you just send me the, uh, um, just MDT me the driver license? And as I pull him out, he starts pulling away from me. So I push him into the door jam, ask him to turn around several times. He won't turn around. That's when Gabino comes over and helps me take him down. We put him in handcuffs, put him in a car. So uh, very minimal use of force. Um, but well, He's not well, complaining of any injuries. injuries. He might when we get over to the station because he just is trying to throw everything right, out there. Right, right. Um, if you want to ask him if he has injuries, I'm fine with that. I, I can get him medically cleared, not an issue. He's going to go for resisting. He's going to go for driving with a license that's no good. Okay. I'm going to give him the ticket for 30 over. I'm going to give him the ticket for uh, failing to provide proof of insurance. Uh, we're going to take his tag suspend the it, deal. and suspend the deal. Sus well, it, well yeah, that's going to be on the PC. Right, yeah. so. And he's got the 27 for uh, resisting. So, right. Is the car registered to him? Yeah. So the car's his. But the tag is a bad tag or something? It, no, it just says she's tagged. It, probably it's, it's an uh, insurance problem. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't have to pay shit. It's not his problem. It's yeah, yeah we can't tell it yeah. unless the unless property management. management wants to tell it. So. Okay. I'm listening. Your car is going to stay here, okay? It's not going to have a tag on it because the state wants the tag back. So there's a chance that it gets towed by the uh, plaza, uh, okay? I, I would not, um, I wouldn't consent to that. Like, hey, before, you, you don't, listen, I know you're trying we're, we're to not operate, talking about consent or anything. I know you're operating, like, honestly, okay. you don't really We're not talking about consent. Have, have you, the, the, the plaza doesn't need your consent to tow your vehicle if it's sitting here with no tag on it and it's not going to move. Like, listen to me, okay? We need to. I am not towing your car. I can't make that more clear. I am not towing your car. We're going to leave it here. What I'm trying to ask you is if there's anything valuable in your car that you'd like me to take out and put in the police department for safekeeping. Because there's a chance that the plaza owner tows your car because it's sitting here without a tag on it. I'm trying to be as nice as I possibly can to you, and you're making my job Listen. extremely difficult. Listen, I so here's the thing. If you have something valuable in there that you'd like me to take out and put in the police department for safekeeping, Tell me, if you don't have anything valuable in there, that's okay. I'll leave it all in there. If you don't want to answer the question, 
things are going to be left in there because I have no legal right to search your car at this moment. Okay? Unless you want to give me consent to search your car. Would you like to give me consent to search your vehicle? Give me a moment. Like, okay. You, you're giving me a lot. I have uh, the thing that I was getting for you to give you the paperwork. I have a binder and I have my book bag and my phone. And um, it's not no joke. I don't see your badge number. And that's that's really I'm I don't see your badge number. Um you say your name like I know a Boston guy, he played for Florida um uh, for um okay. Philadelphia yep. Eagles. I Do I have consent to search your vehicle? Uh, I ask you to Do get, I have consent to search your you Do I line? have consent to search your vehicle? Yes sir it's a yes or a no question. Do I have consent to search your vehicle? Do you need will that you, to get the stuff out Will the car? you allow me to search your vehicle? I will allow you to grab two things that I'm identifying for you out of my vehicle. Okay, what two things? My book bag. Where is the book bag? Uh, I believe it's in the back seat. Can you get the book bag out of the back seat, please? What else? I don't have anything. That's it? Just the book bag? And, and the binder with all my documentation. Where is the binder? The one that you had in your lap? Yes. And the... Uh, um, Accordion and, binder on the front seat. And that paper, I still need you to fill that out. So no, I'm not going to fill that paper out. You're going to have all my information on your probable cause okay. affidavit, okay? Come right there, too. Because he put his hand in my okay. eye. Okay, no problem. That's all you need out of the car? Please zip it back up. Zip it back up, please. Oh, okay. He's got more That's than all a you need? Could you zip it back up, please? We're going to put it in the car, and, and it's going to go with you. So, I'm going to ask you one more time. Is that all you need out of the car? I have your phone and your key. They're going to go with you. I'm going to lock your car. My, my social security is in that too. Where? It's on the side of the vehicle where the blue pouch is right there. The social security is, card is in the door. Anything else? It's not in the blue pouch. It's not in the blue pouch. There's only like three papers that's not in the blue pouch. But I don't want nobody to He's going to get security. gloves on. Okay. Other than your social security card, is there anything else before I lock this car? All my legal documents and stuff. The legal um, documents are there on the trunk. You got my phone. Yep. And I like, honestly, like, I'm surely not trying to like accept going to jail. It's going to be repercussions. You don't have to accept going to jail. You're going to jail. It's There. There is it's, no getting out of it. You're past the point of return. If, if I was extremely me, polite. Show me probable cause. Yes, I'm going to show you probable cause on the probable cause affidavit, okay? <laughs> No problem There's with no that. Problem cause. Okay. I'm trying to okay. Show you. That, you, you can argue me, that all day long. You tell me what? I'm not gonna argue. I, I'm not gonna argue. I got a 400 page book of how to deal with these situations. Uh, you might know what it's called too. So I'm going if I, when I go to the jail because y'all gotta send me to the jail. Hold on. And, and this is well, we can have this conversation on the way to jail. Is there anything else in the car that you need me to take out before we leave it here secured? Hey. Secure so you can roll up my windows. You roll up my yep. windows. Yeah, I'll roll the windows up and lock the doors. Is there anything you need out of the car? I'm asking you a question and you're not answering me. This is your last chance to answer before I just lock the car up and leave it there. Is there anything else that you need that's valuable inside of the car? Um, my social security. So you gotta get as close. I did ask y'all look through my book bag. Okay. All right. That's all. Thank you. Can I, can I show you? My, like, we'll we'll have a conversation on the way to the jail. Okay. Right. Officer Scott, no, you don't need my first name. My badge number is nine nine six. Okay, what's your point? Did you not have a point, or you just don't want to talk to me anymore? <laughs> Why didn't I cooperate? That's the question for real right now? The question is, why didn't I cooperate? That's the question right now? Okay, well, there's no such thing as an electronic version of your driver license, so... I'll tell you that again, just yeah, like I told you that at your car. That's 100% true. There is no such thing as an electronic version of your driver license. It does say that, as a matter of fact. Do I know what a license is? Yes. Do you know what a license is? Oh, I see that you want to ask all the questions, but you don't want to give any answers. Do you know what a license is? Yes. Okay then you would know that it's a physical card that you are required to provide upon demand by a police officer when you're pulled over on a traffic stop. Yes. Oh, don't worry, it's going to be right in your probable cause affidavit. You'll see the exact statute. 
Black Law Dictionary. Black Law Dictionary is the legal dictionary. A license is. <laughs> okay, you can cite all your sovereign citizen stuff that you want. That's, that's but the, that's the problem is that you're in Florida and we go by Florida that's state that's statute that's here. That's so your sovereign immunity doesn't work here in Florida. All right, so we got a fun cop. We got a guy getting popped after the gym, and we all we all suspect that gym has to be Planet Fitness. And on top of all that, he's a Florida man. What, what could be better? Okay, well, then stop citing all the sovereign citizen laws. I just said black law dictionary. This is the legal dictionary, international legal dictionary. This is a legal dictionary. Uh huh. Nope. I think it's the other way around, my friend. I think you feel like you're above the law. Right in this door. Can you open the door for me? Yep, come over here. Make your first left. And have a seat on the bench. Have a seat on the bench. That's the bench. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is you had your driver license the whole time, and you never even tried to get it for me. I didn't know where it was. Oh, I told okay. You that. Go ahead that's and stand up. I pull it up on my phone, but all oh, that's Turn around. You, you, you played it. You really played it. That's not my license. Oh, that's not your driver license? What is that? I mean, that's called the driver Probably license. Probably 5 that's not Oh, who is that? Can you copy another? Oh, you saw, you Put see. this hand on top of your head. Yeah. Put that hand on top of your head. Right. On top of your head. 1808 Northwest. Alright, go ahead and have a seat on the bench. You don't have to put your hands on your head anymore. You can just sit. Okay. Well, this name on the driver license is the same one you gave me. So is this you or not you? It's it's not. Jacques Wilson. Yes, it is. You typed my name. And that's the same name that you gave me. Jacques Wilson. That's not the name I gave you. Jacques. Uppercase J, and I said the Wilson family. Mm -hmm. yep. I told you I have my license. I'm trying to pull it up on my phone. That was enough for you to take it to that next level. Yes, uh, I, I understand you're extremely I, intent I, on trying to downplay the whole situation, but it was much more than that. You're saying you got to make it much more than that. No, you made it much more than that. That's what I'm saying. All of it's on body camera. So. We don't even have to sit here and dispute the facts. We can just watch them later in court. How about that? How does that sound to you? I'm not necessarily sure. I know. It's hard for you to understand when, when you don't have anything to say. Um, yeah, that, that protects from X-ray UV. Okay. Or is this the same thing, protect from radiation? You made this yourself? 34 copy. Wow. <laughs> my, phone, my phone gets uh, radiation. Oh, oh God. Uh, ooh, but yours has direct that um that gun you got. Yeah, the radar gun. Yeah, yeah, the one that I got. You're that's, that's you're going the, seventy and a forty on. Oh, I'm not. I'm not sure about that. Well, you should be because I showed it to you. I wasn't driving <laughs> either. Probably. So, oh, you I weren't driving now. No, I oh, was who was driving? Oh, who was driving? Who was who was driving? Traveling to Walmart. Oh, you were traveling. Yet another sovereign citizen yeah, statement. But you're not a sovereign citizen, right? Well, I told you about doing that. You keep calling me a sovereign citizen. Yeah, because that's exactly what sovereign citizens say. Yeah, I was not, traveling. I wasn't driving. I, I'm not familiar with these books, but you know they're sovereign citizen garbage. You just, I mean, just I'm basing on probabilities. Proof again. That's not proof against anything. You don't believe everything you read. You shouldn't, you shouldn't believe everything you hear. Okay. So what you know is called, that's, 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 um, you, you just playing a label on me. That's not, Bro, that's not the old deal. You, I didn't put a label on you. I said, yet another sovereign citizen statement, but you said that you're not a sovereign citizen. That's exactly what I said. Oh, I, I found your license. You found my, yeah, yeah. So you found my, my um, I found your driver license with all your information on it and your picture. You found my, um, my, um, wallet, my wallet. Oh, here no. we go. Yeah, and that's not my license. I found your driver license. Fun. Or, or should I call it a traveler's license? No, no. I oh. could have shown you that, too. I, I have one of those, too. Oh, okay. 
Here's your insurance for the car and the registration. All things I asked you for that you never gave me out there. I don't know why you wouldn't just I give was, it to me I out there. I couldn't think so. I'm giving to you. I'm not going to go back and forth with you. What does that say? What does that say? Ignorance of the law does not excuse misconduct in anyone. Least of all, a sworn officer of the law. So, isn't that funny that your ignorance of the law got you in trouble today? <laughs> because you wouldn't provide me with a hard copy of your driver license. That's it's 100% true. Stand up. It's going to go out this door, make a left, and you're going to make a, a left into the first cell on your left. Can I go to the restaurant? Yep, it's right in there, on the left. The suspect was charged with multiple crimes, including one count of resisting an officer without violence. After pleading no contest, he was sentenced to pay a fine of $293. Well, there you have it. That was a wild one. That was a wild one. Big shout out to Rebel Chaser who hooked me up. I didn't know that that guy was going to be, be back up. That was a lot of fun out in Washington. And then I, I don't know, I just tripped across uh, <laughs> Stone Cold Jerry Gear, the Honey Badger. <laughs> It wouldn't wouldn't have men down two miles an hour. <laughs> Instead, we we had the trial. He won the trial. He won the trial. He did he did a nice job with it. He really did. And uh, and that clip that everyone everyone had sent to me, I did put a link to that channel in the description below. Thank you all for coming out. The timing is a little weird. I I set this up for a red redirect over to Biggin if you're interested. I will see you all soon.